Hi and welcome to Blue Sky Bonsai. I'm Dave and in today's video I'm going to show you what is possibly the simplest and most trouble-free and most risk-free operation we need to do. I'm going to slip pot this olive bonsai into a bigger pot which is like repotting but without pruning the roots. Enjoy the video! It's now getting towards the end of September and it's not really a good time to repot bonsai or any plants in general. Just as you're coming into autumn, when the weather's getting colder, there's a lot less sunlight hours. The organism is slowing down its growth. It's getting ready for the winter period. So it's not a good time to repot. Slip potting is a way of really enhancing the life and the health and the vigor of your plant in the next year, couple of years. There's no risk to the health of the, the bonsai because you're not pruning the roots, you're not pruning the branches. It's a pretty quick and simple operation. Let's get to it. Now this is the pot I'm going to use to slip pot my olive bonsai. As you can see, it's more like a colander than a pot. Some people call it a grow pot, an air pot, a pond basket various different names, but the point of this is it's still letting loads of air all in the sides to the soil. So it's very good for growing fine roots. The idea here, the point is, when a root in the soil gets to the edge of the pot, it meets the air and stops growing. That encourages more fine roots, and fine roots are what you want for a bonsai. To grow out like this, more fibrous fine roots means a lot more healthy sucking up the water and nutrients in the soil. That's what you want for a healthy growing bonsai. The other thing here is that I'm choosing a pot that is big enough around the rim to fit the entire root ball without affecting it. So we've got a bigger pot that can easily handle the size of the entire root ball and soil that's there. It's going to encourage better growth. I already talked about this olive tree in another video which you can see here. What I decided was I'm not really going to do any work on it for a couple of years. I'm just going to let it grow bigger, stronger, healthier for a couple of years. Next year it should fruit, it should give me olives. I'm not going to do anything with those olives except look at them. They're just pretty to look at in a, in a bonsai tree. So let's get started. Thread the wires through the button here. Do it in a kind of a crossover pattern so have one wire going across that way and the other wire going across this way. When you're slip potting the bonsai wire this is not an essential part. The slip potting will still work perfectly well without using wiring but where I live it really does get windy as you can see in another video and now just a case of prising it out and putting some soil in and bunging it in. Okay, so let's just slide around the edge with this spatula. This pot actually has got a little lip that keeps the soil in. It can be good in some circumstances, but when you come to repotting, it makes it a little bit more difficult. As long as you use granular soil, like this, it does come out quite easily. So let's see if it comes out now. Also pushing my fingers up through the drainage holes at the bottom of the pot. And here it comes. Very good root ball, lovely healthy roots. You can see the nice white colour of the roots. Leave that there for a minute. And now we start preparing the new pot to put it into. So for soil, I use three sizes of soil. For the base, a larger size between 0.7 millimetres and one centimetre, which is from a quarter inch to almost to half an inch. I use that at the base because it helps retain a bit more water there. 
If you live in a dry climate, you need to put measures in to retain more water. But if you live in a humid or rainy climate, then you can very easily get away with just using one soil size, probably half a, half a centimetre, which is about a quarter of an inch. So what I wanted to show here is the way you make up your soil in your pot should depend on the climate where you live. If you live in a hot dry climate like I do in Madrid, then you need to build up your soil in the best way to retain as much water as possible, but at the same time allowing drainage through the soil. The way to do that is to make your soil larger particle size at the base at the bottom of the pot, and as you go up, smaller particle size. These are just the physical properties of water in those little air gaps as it's pulled down by gravity and pulled up by the capillary action. But um, I don't want this to turn into a fact bomb. So let's just move on from that. The good news for you if you live in a wet or rainy or humid climate, you only need one uniform particle size for your soil. And the reason is, is because this is the size of particle that best promotes the root growth and you don't need to be focusing so much on water retention. So this is uh, my half centimetre, quarter of an inch soil, putting that in. Soil composition, it really depends again on your climate and also on the tree. But for this olive tree, I'm using mostly Akadama with a bit of organic soil mixed in, bit of Kiryu mixed in, bit of other soil from, from other repots I've done. Don't want to go up too high here because I've got to make sure that the tree fits in here, of course. Now that is fitting in pretty well. I could actually build up the base soil even higher there. I think that's high enough. Now what I'm going to do is just quickly rake out some of these roots at the bottom so they've got a chance to grow radially and into the new soil. Try not to disturb them too much because we don't want to actually do any form of root pruning right now. Just want to make them looser and freer so they can carry on growing outwards rather than rather than downwards. It's a pretty healthy root ball I'd say. And yeah, definitely over the next year this tree is gonna really really grow much faster and fatten up. Give me a nice crop of olives. So before I fill up with the rest of the soil, I am now actually going to tie it in with these. The crossways wires, so just put them in like that. Make sure it's at the right planting angle. Looks pretty good. Maybe a bit more to the back side. A bit more soil under there. push it down into that soil. Now we tie it in with these wires, trying not to let the wire actually cut across any roots here. Don't need to tie it in all that tight, just enough so it's not going to move around. So I'm tightening up so it doesn't move, but like I said before, I'm not tightening it so much that it's going to restrict any growth or cut through any roots. There we go. Just put a bit more soil in there, around the edges.
finally, I'm going to put a top dressing of small size Kiryazuna. Okay, so here is my top dressing. Small grain Kiryu. And I'm just going to sprinkle it all over the top here. After this, we'll give it a good watering. And that's it, job done. One slip potted olive bonsai and we'll leave it in here for about two years. Let it grow really big and strong. Now we need to do something very important here, which is to get the koala back. It's obviously under the shade of the uh, olive tree. I guess it would be eucalyptus in the koala's home country. I've also added a tiny bit of the moss from the old pot. I'd just like to see how it grows over the next year to two years. Not necessary for the growth of the tree at all. It does arguably keep some of the moisture in a bit better. So that was it. I showed you how to slip pot a bonsai from a small bonsai pot into a larger grow pot no risk to the tree you can do it any time of year thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video please hit that thumbs up like button and if you haven't already subscribed please go ahead and subscribe see you in the next video Hi and welcome back to Blue Sky Bonsai. I'm Dave. Does that make sense? If, you're, if I'm welcoming you back, you must know I'm Dave. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>